Alex, you haven't posted a tea chat in three weeks. I'm taking over. No, you can't do that. Yes, <laughs> it's gonna be called Coffee Chats. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds <laughs> terrible. You shall not prevail. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Tea Chats. I'm your host, Alexander Puselski. I have a cup of tea with me. I suggest you pause the video, brew your own, and sip it with me as we chat about life. Last week, we talked about how net neutrality was upheld by the FCC. I had the opinion that John Oliver's segment about it on his show last week tonight was what really brought the issue to the public's attention. Here's what one of you had to say about it. Alright, let's see. Uh, so this is from Anonymous John. He said, I actually didn't see John Oliver's thing on it until after the issue was settled. I mostly heard about it from YouTubers I watch. I'm glad everything turned out the way it did. Something tells me those ISPs aren't going to go down easy though. I'm sure they'll find some other way to cut up the internet for themselves when they get the chance. So we should keep our eyes on them. Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, I think we should start like a guerrilla army uh, that just camps outside of Comcast's headquarters waiting for the opportune moment or whatever. And uh, you know, they think we're a bunch of hobos, but uh, we're still hobos, but uh, we have a purpose. We also talked a bit about animal cruelty, uh, to really paraphrase it, and I asked you guys why humans seem to empathize more with animals than other humans when it comes to violence against them. Mainly in the media. Here's what Alex Cooper had to say about it, among many other things. We see a greater sense of helplessness in animals. When people cry out that they'll hang an animal abuser for feeding his dog a stick of dynamite, it's not because it's highness, even though it is heinous, or highness, or whatever, your highness. <laughs> it's mainly because the animal is helpless to do anything. When a penguin is stranded by itself, about to get wrecked by some leopard seals, uh, we don't think, you know, that's nature. We think, oh no, a penguin, about to get its ass beat. <laughs> and we feel a need to protect it since it's gonna die out there otherwise. With humans, it's like, humans aren't innocent, they deserve that uppercut from nowhere. <laughs> Unless they're under the age of three. Damn, you make sense. Like really, you do. <laughs> I, I didn't think about it like this um, last week when I was talking about this, but when you bring children into the equation, it definitely does make sense um, because violence to children in the media is a taboo and uh, I think it's based on the same principle as why violence to animals is a taboo um, is because both of those groups, children and animals, are naive and innocent, so they can't understand what is happening to them, um, and they can't do anything about it. So, yeah, props to you, Alex Cooper. Alex Cooper actually had many things to say last week, so I'd like to introduce a new segment called Alex Cooper Speedrun, where I answer all of his questions as fast as possible. Why is there a caterpillar crawling on your top lip? I don't know. I guess there is. Why do you drink tea in a see-through glass? So you can see this. Hopefully it's in the frame, but it's cool when the milk does that thing. Why do you look like the fifth member of the Beatles? Maybe I am. We know it's sociably wrong to answer an an a question with a question, but is it wrong to answer an answer with an answer? Uh. Uh, I don't know. Our <laughs> chickens just level 1 T-Rexes. They can't evolve because level 100 humans keep using EAT on them. Um, 
You know, I never took a master's degree in Pokemon, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Is Christianity secretly an old school rap group since God is considered the original G? I think this will answer your question. Do you speak American English, American English, English American, or gangsta? I speak uh, English American. Um, I'm fluent in that. Gangsta, just a bit, you know, just a little bit. Why does a subliminal, subliminal message say subliminal message in the vid? He's talking about this moment last week. Um, you know, I was trying to make uh, Anonymous John turn over to the T side and I'm pretty sure it worked because, you know, that happened. Our final comment comes from the Zabby Master who asked, Full, ch full slash half chan, yay or nay? All right, here's the thing. Uh, I was never involved with 4chan, and I'm not involved with 8chan. Uh, so this is purely an outsider's perspective. I, I didn't even know what a full chan was before I looked it up. They're both message board sites uh, that are relatively free in the way that things are moderated. Um, 4chan was created in 2003, and 8chan was created in 2013. Uh, the difference is that 8chan is really liberal with how you're able to talk on there. Basically, um, you can't do anything illegal. That's it. You can say whatever the hell you want, as long as it's not illegal. Um, 4chan is a bit different, uh, I think it's a bit more restrictive, uh, basically, yeah, and, and 8chan, on 8chan you can create any board you want, a board is like a topic to talk about, you can create any board you want without moderation, without approval, um, on 4chan I think you have to get approval or there's a preset number of boards that you can go on, As, uh, again, I'm an outsider to this, but, um, Basically, when Gamergate was going on, which is something I don't want to talk about uh, because don't know much about it and it would take so much time to explain. Um, but basically, Gamergate was about, I guess, uh, corruption in media, uh, in journalism for games. Um, the problem is there was a lot of bigotry and misogyny against females who were game programmers and in the media or in the journalism industry for games. So uh, that caused 4chan to ban anything related to Gamergate on their website. Um, and because people thought that 4chan was getting increasingly restrictive, they moved to 8chan where they were able to say anything they wanted about women and uh, Gamergate in general. So, uh, basically, 8chan is like the epitome of free speech on the internet. Um, and there's a lot of controversy about that because a lot of things go down on that website. Um, I, I believe there's a lot of really borderline illegal stuff like, um, like almost child porn not quite, but almost, you know, stuff like that. Um, because that's what's gonna happen when you let anybody say whatever they want. Um, so I guess the question to ask to you is how much free speech should a website give you? How much, how much liberation is too much <laughs> liberation when it comes to message boards and stuff? Um, I'm of the opinion, uh, well, it's very hard to make this opinion, I'm not sure if I'm fully with it, but um, I believe that 8chan is the better one here. Um, but you know, it's iffy. I'm a Reddit person, so. <laughs> I'm not involved with these at all. The show is a conversation between you and I, so why don't you drop down into the comments below and continue the conversations we're having right now. Um, maybe you have something to add about net neutrality. Go ahead. Here's one for you. Does innocence affect our judgment of what something truly is? 
Um, what I mean is, does something's outward appearance prevent us from seeing the reality of the situation? Oh. <laughs> uh, here's, here's another one that I asked earlier. Uh, does, sh how much should a message board be allowing people to say? How much free speech is too much before we start turning Lord of the Flies on each other, you know? Um, if you have something new to say, or if you want to add a new conversation to the mix, then go ahead. Anything is welcome. It can be a burning question in the back of your mind or something that you want to talk about, but uh, can't because none of your friends are interested in, you know, meaningful, deep conversations. I don't know. Maybe you need new friends. But I'm your friend. I can talk to you about that. <laughs> go ahead. Leave a comment and I will address it. Thank you for uh, watching this episode. If you liked it, press that like button and let me know that you support the show. Uh, every time I see a like, I'm motivated even more to keep doing what I'm doing because I know that some of you actually love what I'm doing and that's, that's the best thing in the world. Uh, if you fancy the idea of chatting with me over a cup of tea every week, then subscribe and I'll see you next Monday.